Hello there, how's it going everybody? Kyle here. Today I'm bringing you some more GTA 5 action. Uh, this is actually still online, and I figured I'd do a little drift build for you guys. Why not? Um, I'm not going to talk through all the uh, all the parts and whatnot because it's not as uh, specific as Forza. Basically, you just want to upgrade it all the way, uh, put as much money into it as you can, and then make it uh, as stylish as you want. Um, put whatever you want on it, make it look how you want it to look. Uh, I'm going to try to keep mine pretty much stock looking besides the awesome uh, exhaust right there, the Y-pipe exhaust that sticks right up, looks pretty sweet. Uh, I really like that look, I don't know why, I just, I don't know, it looks cool. It's kind of like a little straight pipe look and uh, I, I find it interesting. So um, that being said, this is the... Karin, Karen, Futo, whatever, I don't know, really know how to pronounce it. Basically, the uh, Toyota Trueno, Trueno uh, AE86, uh, or the Corolla. Um, going through the horns, as you can see, obviously. Gotta go with the, uh, obviously gotta go with the General Lee horn. You can't, can't go wrong, can't ever go wrong with having that horn. It's just a cool-ass horn. Um... But yeah, this is the Trueno, um, basically a car that is pretty much built for uh, for drifting. You basically a car built to soup up, put money into it, and make it uh, able to drift. Um, you can find this car near the beach and uh, on your map if you go to Del Piro, Piro or whatever. It's it's near the beach, anywhere near water. This car pretty much shows up. Um, it's really a pretty easy car to find. It's uh, it's it's pretty common in, in the GTA GTA 5 world, so um, you shouldn't have a problem uh, finding this car. And souping it up, obviously the parts cost a lot of money, but if you want to put a tracker and insurance on it, it is really cheap. So um, that that's not a problem either. So basically, I'm just gonna uh, finish painting this, and then we're gonna go and drift it. I did not put in the uh, in the slidey cars cheap because this was online. Um, I did build a couple of these because um, I want to go build my buddy one, and I left mine that I fully built outside. And apparently, once you enter the garage and you uh, leave your car out there, it disappears. So I, I lost my car, I had to build it again. And uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, I have like the straw type, uh, straw colored rims or whatever. The mesh mesh rims. I think it looks really good with a car. Um, I could have put, could have went with sport rims and put some really big like dub 20s on it or whatever. But uh, I decided not to. So as you can see, it's raining. Uh, yeah, I was really happy that it was raining because I really wanted to try this car out uh, drifting wise without having to do the slotty car cheats because I don't know, I, I like, I don't really, I, I can't say I like it, I, I don't like the slotty car cheats because um, it's just way too unrealistic for drifting. You, uh, you're always off rev limiter so it kind of sucks, you have no traction whatsoever. So if you just wait till it rains and then you bring this thing out, it is awesome. It's the perfect uh, drift car for, for rain, honestly. Uh, as you can see, I'm breaking it loose a little bit. Still a little bit, uh, still a little rusty at drifting and whatnot. It's kind, it's kind of hard to drift in this game without, like I said, that cheat. But um, I don't I don't like to do that. It will drift a little bit. Well, more of like power sliding on. on on dry tar and whatnot, but it definitely likes to drift in the rain, as you can see. Uh, I kind of struggle to keep it, uh, keep it under control. I'm gonna try to bring it around uh, the gas station area for a little bit, and then I, I do end up heading out onto the road. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys, uh, show you guys this little drift build I did. I had this done a while ago. I just haven't, uh, haven't uploaded it. So that is that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more uh, Battlefield 4 from GTA 5. Um, I have Rise as well. And then I'm probably going to get Forza 5 for Christmas. So I mean, that'll definitely make an appearance on my channel. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. But um, definitely going to have have to do something with it. So yeah, um, 
that's pretty much it. Start my new job tomorrow, and then um, and then we'll see how 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 YouTube fares from that. It uh, it's gonna struggle. I've been struggling a little bit, just trying to get shit done, but uh, I can only do what I can do. I I can't really force everything. I I, I don't really have time to do all the things I want to do, which sucks, but, um, I'm still, still gonna try to upload videos, like I've been saying, and, uh, just smash that car, and then I, I just start beating the fuck out of it, and it kind of turns into a, uh, a drift missile, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, pretty much just been, uh, doing homework, editing, playing, playing a lot of Battlefield 4, actually, so, uh, if you guys like Battlefield 4, feel free to check that out on my channel, I will be uploading, uh, a bunch of of gameplay um, footage of Battlefield 4, and then I'll probably upload some Rise. I don't know if I'll do a walkthrough of that or not because uh, I usually tend to not finish my my walkthroughs. As sad as that is, but um, yeah. So be sure to check those out on my channel. Free, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment, favorite, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Everything is always greatly appreciated. And uh, if you really enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for, for some more. Um, like I said, GTA 5, Battlefield 4, um, Rise, Titanfall in March. I'm definitely getting that. So uh, be sure to stick around and uh, just have some fun. I look forward to talking to you guys some more. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.